What's up boys and girls, Lambu here, and today I will show you one of the strategies that I like to do against two Stargate Voidray with a normal High Templar follow-up. This strategy will be a Queen Lurker timing attack with plus two missile upgrades, plus one carapace, and the Lurker range. And you really want to attack with a lot of Queens and a lot of Lurkers, and the theory behind it is that the Protoss army at that moment when they play the normal like six void rays and then they make a uh, templar archives they make a lot of cannons high templars and then they go try to go straight into carriers pretty much from that they don't have any immortals they also get their carriers not early enough uh and they don't put any pressure on you so you can go straight to eight gas 88 drones with a very very early hive and um, this obviously also is safe against any form of Archon timings if they want to go for that, because you have a lot of Queens, you have a Roachborn, you can go Roach Hydra with a lot of Queens, which in general is good against this, the, the more aggressive 2 Stargate Void Ray follow-ups. As for the early game, I'm not going to go too in detail about it, since we do finally have the early game guides now, so if you guys didn't watch them, make sure to check out the advanced early game guide if you want to see how to hit the timings, like I am doing it this game. Um, I just went hatch gas pool, very standard, four links. Uh, I did not get blocked. And one of the things that I'm doing that I didn't show you guys is sometimes I just go back with my first overlord, basically on pro level. Uh, mix-ups are important, so uh, I, I also practice those mix-ups, so sometimes I just go back with all the overlords. Sometimes I uh, go straight into the main base if I'm expecting a non-stalker opener. Uh, sometimes I leave a second overlord hidden on the other side of the map, but I think for you guys, you guys should just leave the one overlord on the other side of the map, as I sh uh, showed you guys in the early game guide. So now he shades in between our bases, I block it here with an evo chamber, circling speed finishes, and he loses his adepts. This will always happen if a protoss actually shades in once, and then does nothing and shades out, you can just follow the adepts, kill it with the uh, queens and run around with your drones a little bit. What the Protoss usually should do if they sack their two adapts is just YOLO into the mineral line here, and the shade should go to the other mineral line, because you're gonna lose these adapts no matter what. Uh, trying to save them if you ever want to commit to a shade, I don't think ever works. So I went for a safety spore here in case of an oracle, and then I go went to check, and obviously if he wants to take a third base, I knew he would need to show me his first target unit, which in this case is a voyager because he lost his gateway units, right? So. If you can, if you ever kill the adepts, the first thing you should do is go straight to the third base. If you can catch the probe sometimes, um, you can delay it by quite a bit because they don't have extra adepts. So that's one little tick tip. And then we just macro up. I'm using the same timing series in the guide, so... Uh, I will also include the replay obviously in the comments, but I'm just gonna rush through this to keep this a very light build. If you want more in-depth explanation of stuff like how do I set up this and how do I know that it's to Stargate Voidray. And you're gonna check out the guides. In this case, I'm doing most of my scouting with the Zerglings. And now I know it's to Stargate Voidray because there are four Voidrays out already. So at this moment, I know. I already have a Hydra then. I already have a Fort base. And now we're just gonna start extra Queens. This is what I always do. And as I explained in the guide as well, I'm going here with at least four Queens immediately to the Satchery. Whereas two Queens plus reinforcing Queens, so the extra Queen that spawned here, remains in the main base with the Spore in location, and I make like around eight Hydras um, before I resume droning, just to be safe. And so the Queens can go back to injecting, and these Queens, if I know where the Void Rays are, can go back to spreading creep. So around eight Hydras before you go to a higher drone counts. Now as the Hydra then finishes, and this is the first thing about this build, I start... I do this a little bit more based on feeling, so I don't always do it right as the higher than finishes, but I want f for you guys to, to make it easier. As the higher than finishes, I want you guys to start an infestation pit in the second evolution chamber. Um, plus one carapace actually helps quite a bit against most of the void ray stuff, especially once the carries are out, you're gonna see that they're not gonna do uh, a lot of damage against queens that already have one base armor. I think same with Lurkers, so uh, the extra armor upgrade really matters, especially if the, the Protoss doesn't have that many uh, air upgrades themselves. One thing that I didn't do this game, but I want you guys to do, is the moment your lair finishes, you morph an Overseer, let's say this Overlord, or this Overlord, and then send it across the edges so it doesn't get killed by a Void Ray, and then check if they're going for a Robo Bay follow-up, or a Templar Archives. In this case, it's a Templar Archives follow-up, and what I do usually is I just scout with links for what kind of units there are, 
um, but that requires a little bit more attention, it's very easy to forget. So uh, from you guys, I want you guys to just scout with an overseer the moment your lair is done. And this is specifically against this Templar Archives response. There's also a third thing that can happen, which is that your opponent already is going for carriers, in which case you guys can just start like three infestors and then try to hit a timing with Queen Hydra Microbial Shard, something like that. Uh, it, uh, unless he masses cannons on three base and then you can just try to play late game from very far ahead. I have now also a late game army composition guide where you can play relatively easy to control units. So if he just really turtles on three base super high, then you can break him with any Hydra Queen microbial shroud uh, timing. Then, um, then you can uh, just play late game from very very far ahead because your opponent really can't expand. Like they can't expand against against the setup. You can basically just make units and attack. And then the thing that you change about the when they have a robo bay, you kind of Want to want to play late game at that point, and you can instead of the lurkers just start making vipers, and then you can try to attack with a bunch of vipers, way less lurkers, and try to abduct the disruptors, and that way win the game. So those those are the options, but this is the most standard one. So I'm just gonna go over this one in this game here. So very very standard void ray defense. Um, the moment this base finishes, you should start both geysers here, uh, probably even before. So I could have already saturated them and go up to 88 drones immediately. Um, I scout here for the base, so I see the base is up. So not the not the most three base all in could hit me ever, but um, usually if I just see a move out and you just make Roach Hydra, you should be fine as long as you make sure that there is no war prism that gets into the main base. So this hive is not greedy. The moment the infestation pit is done, you start hive and lurker then at the same time. So this is the next thing that you need to. Watch out for also start plus two and plus one. Lurker then takes a little bit less time than the hive, but this way it's easier to remember. Uh, when you're like, okay, my infestation is done, let's click the hive and then let's make the lurker then, right? Uh, relatively easy. Also, whenever you have minerals, just keep making queens. This is one thing that um, that's a little bit different. You can see constant queen production here, as if I was a Terran player that was constantly producing um, siege tanks or something. This is what we're doing here with the queens. Every, every time I have the minerals for it, we're starting queens. Another thing is, you don't want to make too many blind roaches, so unless you attack, don't make too many roaches, because you want most of the supply to be in Queen Hydra Lurker. This is a very efficient army, and if you can actually max out on mostly Queen Hydra Lurker, that's very good. Um, we don't want to go past 88 drones, so you can see I'm exactly at 88 drones, which is 16 plus 6 times 4, so 22 times 4. Quick maths. And then the moment Lurker range is done and all these upgrades line up, we should attack. Which Hydra Rapier do I go for first? I usually go for Hydra Speed first. So sometimes when the when the Void Rays go in here, you can kite under the Void Ray and kill one. Uh, same goes with like wherever there is a little bit of space and the Void Rays uh, can get caught off guard. This is where the Hydra Speed comes in. I must have forgotten this because this should have been done already for the push as well. Either way, also Morphin Overseer so you don't run into Stasis Wards. And then just charge forward with the Lurkers to zone out uh, his army. And if you look at his army, no matter what he does now, he pretty much lost the game. I don't think there is much he can do with this. So this is a very strong counter to uh, what the Protoss is doing here. If they hold very well, they can delay and then they need to work with Zealot run by stuff like that. You can see I left some Hydras here for the War Prism. They need to work with Zealot run by on multiple fronts and then try to pick off one Lurker at a time if they get lucky. Probably sack this base, take another one and then try to get our carriers delay with mass cannons and storms as well as they can. But usually if they play like this and you hit a timing like this at around 9 minutes with 2-1, Lurkers and this many queens and this much energy because we built them so early, right? You don't want to spend too many creep tumors. The, the queen energy is very important. You can see that not a single one, one queen here is full energy, but in general, you don't want to spend too many creep tumors. Just save it for transfuse and then go forward with the lurkers. The reason you want to go forward with the lurkers is the lurkers are the thing that zones out the Protoss army, even though it takes a while to borrow. You don't want to run forward with your hydras. That's the most important part because those actually die to the storm. And, um, this way you don't want to waste as much transfuse energy on everything else. You can see he barely kills a lurker here. And there is just no way for him to engage this army. So the execution is quite simple. We also obviously start this second upgrade. Um, and take a fifth base and aspire just in case if it goes late game. But you guys can just focus on microing this. 
And the goal on any map, so on the Jagannatha I attack here because this is uh, not a ramp upwards, so this is the only ramp where you don't have to go up a ramp. And this is relatively relatively wide, right? It's, it's, it's still just like a 2-3 forest field ramp, but still. We go through this, and we just charge forward. On, every, on any other map you can decide where to go, for example on Death Aura, even if you had a 4th base, I would still attack at his 3rd base, because the, you don't have to go up a ramp. And then the end goal of this army is you go in between his natural and his 3rd. Or in natural and in death or if you already killed the third natural and fourth and then you siege up there with the lurkers and you leave the queens and you can his army is either going to be here or here and then with all the roach hydra you can just run and kill either this or if his army is here you can kill this and very often the protosses are going to just engage into you and you're going to just straight up win like he, he's not killing any units with, the, with with this army as we can see uh with the resources lost we also have the money to almost make a second army uh, this is like al almost <laughs> a remix while basically on roaches because we don't actually have that much gas but um just just to know that this is very very favorable all these trades for us as you can see and i think this is a relatively easy to execute build if you guys want to learn how to get into this 88 drone scenario with uh, eight gas as early as possible then make sure to check out my second guide um, of the advanced CVP early game guide and also the first one in general i think you guys should watch those and if you guys are forced to play late game if your opponent goes into disruptors make sure to check out the other guides thank you very much for watching and see you guys in the next video bye bye